Are you? Are you kidding me? Like what? Okay, listen. The energy, the energy is giving crackhead. The energy is giving doing way too much when I could have just hopped on my stories and done a review on the butter capsule and the uh, corset body suits instead. But instead of doing that, I said, my stories are just gonna be as long as a YouTube video anyway. So why don't I just film a quick YouTube video and get it up for you guys? Because the plan was to just film on my phone and then upload the vertical video on YouTube. And I'm like, I'm gonna edit that in CapCut anyway. Why don't I just edit this on my computer and then call it a day? So that's what we're doing today. Um, I, I might get this video up tonight. Anywho, this is gonna be the shortest, sweetest video that you've ever seen in your life. It's literally just four products, but I was gonna make a whole video on this corset bodysuit anyway, so I figured since I just got these in, why not bundle this all together and then just do a real quick YouTube video. Short, sweet, to the point. So let's get into it. Okay, let's start with everything launching in the butter capsule. It's already live on the site, but I don't anticipate stock selling out just because like the launch was announced yesterday. I got my package yesterday, so there should be ample amounts of stock on the site. But anywho, these are the products that we have launching. These products were supposed to be launched with Genesis, but the shipment came in late. So we have the Curve Sports Bra. I have it in Barista Blue, Chai Latte, as well as Bone. And then I have the Bliss Butter Short in Chai Latte, as well as the Bliss Butter Legging in in bone as well as chai latte. And then from the actual Genesis collection, I do have two of the corset bodysuits in berry ice as well as mocha berry. So these also just came in a couple days ago. <laughs> I've barely had a chance to try them on or test them or anything at all. So this is truly gonna be like a first impressions of everything that I have going on here other than this set because I already wore the set to the gym yesterday. So I'll give you guys a full performance review as well. But um, with that being said, let's get do it. This is so strange. I'm like, usually launches, you know, XYZ day, but it's already live. I'm just doing this after the launch. So, okay, let's go. <laughs> All right, first and foremost, we have the Curve Sports Bra in the color Bone, size small. I also have it in Chai Latte and Barista Blue. I'm not gonna try them on because it's like essentially the same thing, except for the fact that it's in different colors and whatnot, but it fits and feels the exact same. This first launched in the Inner Light Collection, so I'll put my review up here for you guys and link it in case you haven't seen it yet and are unfamiliar with the sports bra. I believe I had a size extra small and small in that bra in that collection, so I believe I did side by sides in that review as well. Um, hopefully I'm correct with that, but eventually. I did like the size small a lot more. As you guys know, I am a true like in between sizes for any given sports bra nowadays. So I did choose to go with my bigger size because the size extra small is a little bit too like toy everywhere um, and did not have enough material, especially on the sides to cover my like side boob and little armpit fat situation. Details about this sports bra is that it has a high neckline and then these like super delicate seams and whatnot to really emphasize the bust. It kind of cups at the bottom of your bust upwards and so it gives like a super flattering fit but there is no true bottom band there's just like a seam placement at the very bottom there to cup but i don't feel anything riding up or showing at all which is super nice but something that i've noticed about this specific design is that like I think you guys can even see it here, is that the fabric just kind of folds and it ends up looking a little bit straighter anyway versus truly looking like the curve that it's supposed to be. So over time, I think you can see it right now actually. Yeah, there's just a little bit of folding right there. So that's a little bit annoying, but what's actually more annoying about the sports bra is that there are no more cup pads. I don't know who gave the team feedback about the fact that we don't need cup pads in here, but basically the team was saying that a lot of people were complaining about the cup pads showing through on this bra. And because overall it is, is a rather smooth fit. There's like nothing going on in the front at all. The cup pads were a little bit more visible through the bra. So for that reason, they took away the cup pads, although there are still inserts on the sides for you to add cup pads as you see fit. But in that case, I just wish that they kept them in anyway and we could have just taken them out. You know what I mean? But I digress. Um, otherwise, extremely stretchy, made of the butter fabric. And you guys have seen me talk about this fabric time and time again. It is extremely soft, brushed. Gio even said yesterday during our workout, he was like, oh wow, that fabric fabrics feel super buttery. And I was like, say what? It feels what? Say it louder, you know what I mean? Because the fabric is literally named butter fabric. But you yeah, know, I love this sports bra so much. Very cute. It kind of dips low 
and then turning to the back, it is a thin racer back. So I love it. Love it for bag days. It's just super comfortable, non-abrasive at all. And I just find that anything in the butter fabric is extremely forgiving. In any other circumstance, I would say to size down if you're in between sizes. But for this specific bra, I would actually say to size up because the neck hole is a little bit on the smaller side. There is stretch to it, but it's still a little bit limited. And especially for gals with larger chests, I've seen that a lot of their side boots kind of like peeks out so if you have a larger chest definitely size up if in between sizes otherwise it is true to size next up i have the bliss leggings also made of the butter fabric and i have this in a double extra small okay because whenever the athletes were talking about this whenever the pdf first came out to like our athlete chat and whatnot they were saying that this waistband is extremely forgiving and the butter material as a whole is also super forgiving so if you're in between sizes it is safe to size down and i just kind of took the feedback that i got from the sinful leggings from Kara's collection because in that legging she also mentioned to size down a size like if you're a double extra small to a size small then to just size down a size so I actually have a double extra small in the sinful legging and that fit me like how an extra small fit so I said I mean especially in butter fabric I already say to size down in between to begin with so that's why I sized down in this and it fits beautifully guys like oh my goodness this kind of fits like how an extra small fits to be honest um but I would say to size down definitely if you're in between sizes for a more snatched fit Although this isn't really like snatching me, right? Because the waistband is so forgiving. It's kind of like this cottony elastic type of band. So not similar to Kara's band on her sinful lugging at all. Whereas that was more of like a silky satiny finish. This is giving more of a cottony type of finish. And the inner band is also very soft as well. So yeah, the stretch on this is insane. There's absolutely no digging in whatsoever. It is a high rise legging on me. So it's sitting at the smallest point of my waistband waist and I just think these are so so flattering definitely one of my favorite butter leggings um in that like butter fabric line to ever exist which is so crazy because I typically hate waistbands like this but for some reason this is giving you guys like it is snatching my waist it's doing things to my quads and I wore it yesterday for a workout and it performed so so beautifully. Before I talk about that, let's talk about details of this legging. So no front seam at all, and I experience zero camel in this. It does have these seams running all the way down the legs. It's doing a couple things on the side as well. And then once we turn to the back, then it does have a glute taper seam. This specific seam doesn't really sit above my glutes. If anything, it needs to be like about a centimeter higher for it to truly sit above. But otherwise, I do find it to be super flattering and it is not taking a lot to wedge it at my glutes whatsoever. So I love how this fits, how this feels. It is extremely flattering in, in all portions of your legs. Like the quads were giving. This overall performed super well. There wasn't any sort of like crazy sledding down at all. If anything, I will say that whenever I try to kind of wedge this up and make this super high waisted, over time, it does tend to slide down to like actually hit the smallest portion of my waist and then it just sits there so whereas before it was sitting a little bit higher up my back here it just kind of slid down and settled right here where my back starts to meet my glutes other than that no sliding down at all i think you guys already saw how squat proof it was but i was wearing a nude thong so your little macy's test right there can see it I think it's right there yeah you can definitely see that but again I am wearing a new thong and you couldn't see anything whenever I actually squat down so <laughs> there's your little squat test this actually fits me as a full length legging but because the butter fabric is so forgiving you really could just scrunch it up and do whatever to kind of tweak the length of the leggings but I feel like this does run a little bit longer in length than other leggings that typically fit me 7 8 length but yeah, no, I I love this legging a lot. I was pleasantly surprised. I will say that it doesn't do anything for the lower belly though, and I just ate, so me standing, you know, relaxed, looks like this, where there's a little bit of my belly hanging at the bottom, but nothing that I'm like harping on about because I just ate lunch, so it is what it is. But yeah, with waistbands like this, where it's just the elastic at the top, it's not gonna do much to hold your underbelly in, like by any means. So definitely keep that in mind. But otherwise, this is for sure a low support legging on me, but still performed super well whenever I wore it to the gym. Okay, I wanted to put bone on to show you guys what this looks like. But again, I'm wearing a nude thong. And I think you can actually see the outline of my thong like in direct sunlight as well. I don't have any assistance of other artificial lighting or anything at all. So this is what that is looking like. And I'll just go ahead and do the squat test for you guys anyway. But I feel like, yeah, dude. You can literally read that Macy's tag, like... <laughs> 
That's a little bit crazy. Yeah, bone is not gonna be squat proof. I just don't know why they would make leggings this light to begin with because it's not even squat proof standing up. I can still see my underwear line through the leggings. So yeah, I mean, I still wore it yesterday anyway, and I still loved them, but it's like, ugh, what a bummer. Okay, last item that I have from the Butter Capsule are the Bliss six inch shorts. Y'all heard me write six freaking inches, guys. I love me a six inch short and I actually really like these shorts as well. Just imagine the leggings but cut off. Actually, I lied because all other details are the same, right? Like it has the same cottony type of super stretchy waistband. I'm also wearing a size double extra small here. The seam placement is the same <laughs> where it comes from like the middle-ish and then kind of fans out, curves along the bottom and whatnot. The bottom is stretchy. Nothing is digging into my quads whatsoever. I feel like these are definitely thick thigh friendly but the issue is when you turn to the back guys because there's no like glute taper seam in the back but as we can see there this definitely has that glute taper seam running down there but this the seam just kind of goes up your glutes all the way up to the waistband and i hate that i'm like bruh this legging literally would have been perfect if they had that glue taper seam right there i don't know why they you know didn't add that because the seams in the back here still line up with how the leggings were you know built it's just that they needed to kind of make this go outwards right there so yeah i mean it's still flattering don't get me wrong like the glutes the glutes are still looking fire but i would have just preferred for that glute seam to be there but I don't anticipate these to ride up at all, and they're not. They're literally staying in place. I really, really like these shorts. It's just that one design feature that I'm like, I wish it had that, um, but otherwise, I I really, really like these new Bliss leggings and the shorts, guys. I still say the size down if you're in between sizes because this is extremely forgiving, extremely stretchy. <laughs> okay, listen. <laughs> Listen, I have on the corset bodysuit in Berry Ice, first time trying her on, and I'm shook, guys. Like, <laughs> whoa, whoa, are you are you kidding me? Like, what? This is crazy. Okay, anyway, let me get my iPad out because I have like details. I believe this is in the perform fabric. It show is so just a quick reminder for you guys not brushed sweat wicking quick dry matte finish high impact workouts has four-way stretch for maximum flexibility and pet friendly so this fabric feels very similar to the airbrush fabric like super similar if you guys have any of those pieces from the Genesis collection that just launched it's on the thinner side super stretchy I feel like I like this a little bit more than the airbrush but yeah it's just a performance fabric that runs matte and is cooling a little bit on the thinner side. I really, really like it because I like the stretch of it. I typically don't like performance fabrics at all. I like more brushed fabrics, but this is just feeling super smooth on the skin. But anywho, let's talk details about this, okay? So it has this like very wide neckline that's very boobalicious. I was extremely nervous for this top because the cup pads are very small. There's not a lot of bust space at all, and I feel like any wrong movement that I do will cause for, you know, some something to fall out very very low cut um definitely like a sweetheart neckline over here and then it has this like corset detail at the bottom that's just the seam there's no boning or anything on the inside that makes it lift or anything like that so this is solely for like a decoration type of feature because it is so wide it actually does cover my armpits in an extra small here which i like so that's nice it's just that like it's a little bit scary to be wearing this right now but i wouldn't size up to a small per se because the bottoms and everything else fits me perfectly moving on to this portion okay so this is like a single lined thicker type of fabric it kind of reminds me of the airbrush leggings in the sense that it's a little bit thicker and offers just a little bit more compression and holding you in while not being crazy stiff it's not uncomfortable i feel like you guys would be able to tell but it's just different from this fabric whereas this has a lot more stretch to it this is a thicker type of fabric that even makes a different sound than this I hope that makes sense, but it's just like super thick overall and on the stiffer side to allow for that type of compression, but it's not doing the most, which I really, really like. These seams are also for decoration purposes. They don't actually have boning on the inside or anything either. But what I love the most is this little like slimming feature that this provides as well, just to keep everything in while not really suffocating you. It also has a V seam right here that hits above my hip bones. There's no front seam at all, so no camel. Um, this fabric feels so freaking 
freaking good, you guys. I like this even more than Elysium, um, definitely more than Energy, but this is what the back is looking like, so there's a lot going on back here, you guys. I love it, though, because it gives maximum adjustability in the sense that the two thin straps that go all the way up to the top cross in the back, and then they are adjustable, so you can adjust the support to whatever level you're needing, and then in addition to that, for like the band, I guess, of the bra portion, um, there's also an adjustability portion back here too, so you can make it as tight or as loose as you need to. I find that tightening it actually just makes it dig in more, and I feel like you can already tell that it's slightly digging in, like especially right here at my lats and whatnot, so it's slightly uncomfortable. Obviously, I can adjust it as I see fit, and it's actually pretty easy to adjust as well, um, but then I kind of lose that support right here under my band if I were to adjust it. But otherwise, that same single fabric is going to the back, and then there's a seam right here to really hold everything in place, and the biggest thing about this is that it dips extremely low, has that Buff Bunny Collection silicone branding right there, and then it has a glued seam, so in addition to a low back, has a glued seam and a shorter seam like down the glutes to really wedge it up your crack. It's kind of similar to the curve legging where the seam in the back was just a little bit shorter to just really allow for that wedgy type of fit. And it's definitely giving wedgy, you know what I mean? Um, I was really nervous for like the top of my underwear to show through, but there's at least like an inch or so between the bottom of this bodysuit to the top of my underwear. So nothing is showing through there, which I love, but man, that is so freaking flattering. Oh, and then something else that I was afraid of was like gaping back here because some of the girls were saying that there was gaping like right around here, but I actually am not experiencing any sort of gaping. And if I do, then it's very minimal. But overall, I just love the construction of this. Like it is just so beautiful. But what I will say is that, man, this is just so nerve-wracking. There is definitely gaping whenever I turn to the side here. Nothing that shows my nips whenever I'm looking down, but it's close, okay? It's it's a little bit close, a little bit scary. I think this bodysuit is amazing, but there are a couple tweaks here and there that would make it actually perfect, starting with the bust pads, because in terms of sizing, this is a little bit tricky in the sense that if you're like way larger in the bust area than you are at the bottom maybe, and you're typically like a large in sports bras, but you're like a small medium bottoms, just as an example, then it might be a little bit difficult for you to pick your sizing. So I would say generally, if you're pretty proportionate, or let's say you're like a medium bra, small bottoms, or, you know, medium bottoms, small top, or extra small top, go with your bottoms size, because this is very, very adjustable, and you're able to just, you know, tweak it to how you want it to fit, but if you're just, like, two to three sizes in between the top and bottom size, then I honestly might skip out on this as a whole, just because this portion is very minimal, and it doesn't offer a lot of, one, support, two, coverage, because of that the risk of you falling out and whatnot is a lot higher. Otherwise, it does fit generally true to size to like your bottoms size. Alrighty friends, that is gonna be it for this video. I really, really hope that you found it helpful and that it actually was short, sweet, and to the point like I said that it would be and not this like 30 minute situation. <laughs> you know what I mean? Once again, these items are actually already live on the site as of 1 p.m. Central Time today. So if you're shopping this launch and wanna support me and found this video helpful, then I would so appreciate it if you used code Tracy to save some money, first of all, to save 10% off, but also to support me and let the Buff Bunny team know that I helped you out today. I really would have just done this on my Instagram stories, but I had a lot of things to say about a lot of these pieces, so I hope that this was more helpful for you, but leave any questions that you have down below, and I'll go ahead and get you guys squared away, but until then, I will talk to you guys later, so bye!